Hi, I'm Mike Thompson, and welcome to my series on design for 3D printing. Contrary to popular belief, you cannot 3D print anything, at least if you want a good quality part. You must design your part for 3D printing. In this episode, I'm going to talk about why we print one part at a time. It might seem like a good idea to shove as much as you can onto the print bed, right? It ought to be faster, right? And it's a more efficient use of space, right? Well, there are several reasons why it doesn't work out quite that way. It basically boils down to simple statistics. I've noticed over time that 3D prints achieve about a 96% success rate. It gets even worse if you ignore my general 3D printing guidelines. With a 96% success rate, what happens when you print two parts at once? You might think that it prints two parts in double the time with the 96% chance of working. Well, basic statistics says that it doesn't work quite like that, and experience shows that this is to be true. In order for the print job to succeed, both of the parts must succeed. If one of the parts fails, they all typically fail. This means that if we take our success rate to the nth power to figure out the overall job success rate, and it actually falls as we add more parts to the print. For our two-part example, we have 0.96 squared, which is only 92%. This table shows you just what happens as the part count goes up. This is why I recommend one part at a time. When a multi-part job fails, it's usually because one of the parts moves out of place, and this causes the filament to go all over the place from then on. A second method of failure occurs as the extruder travels between the parts. Tiny filaments will occasionally get stuck on the hot extruder head, and eventually a big blob forms, and then the whole thing fails. It also takes longer than twice the amount of time to print the parts, because the printer head has to travel back and forth between the parts, and this travel time is a waste, and it gets worse as the part count goes up. If you're printing wheels and you need four of them, then wouldn't it be better to print just one part at a time and then check it? Otherwise, if you printed all four of them, you'd have to wait over four times as long, and then you might have four parts, which aren't quite right, if they even print. That's wasteful of time and material. Now, I've been sure about a design before and ended up making this mistake and wasting a ton of time and money. So one at a time is definitely the way to go. I'm Mike Thompson, coming to you from the OU Innovation Hub Fab Lab. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And what do you want to make?